Hello Calgary, my name is Justin Worthy with the Top Calgary Real Estate Team at Remax House of Real Estate. We hope everybody's staying well safe and healthy. Over the next little while, we are going to be interviewing local businesses in an effort to bring information, tips, tricks, and ways to enhance your time at home. We hope you find this information helpful. Today we will be speaking with Amanda with Room to Breathe Home Organizing and she will help educate us a little bit about what they do and what we can be doing while we're at home during social distancing. So Amanda, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Great. Uh, so I guess first and foremost, how long has Room to Breathe been in business? Yeah, so the company itself has been in business for 10 years. And the current owner, Indiana, she's owned it for five years now. Okay, excellent, yeah. excellent. And always in Calgary? Yes, and uh, we just expanded Edmonton and St. Albert. So we're in Alberta and BC now. Oh, good for you, that's fantastic. Uh, I guess regardless of where you live, people need to be organized. Mm-hmm, yeah. Great. Yeah. Uh, and what are the services that Room to Breathe provides people? Yeah, so we do home organizing, moving and downsizing, uh, state support, and then uh, businesses and like electronic organization as well. Uh, what do you mean by electronic organization? So we've done uh, emails, for example, like we had one client who had a thousand plus emails in her inbox and we like got them into subcategory mailboxes, got them all moved over so that her inbox became like things that needed to be actioned and everything else was filed away. So well, electronic filing. Very interesting. Yeah. What can people be doing while they're at home in social distancing from an organization perspective, uh, either in their businesses or in their homes? Yeah. That, so much. You could be doing a ton of stuff. Um, so with our process, we have a five step process and we use, the acronym SPACE, and what that stands for is the S is for sort, so that's getting your like with like. The P is purge, so that's deciding what you're gonna keep versus what you're gonna get rid of, whether you're gonna donate it, try and sell it on Facebook Marketplace, maybe make a little extra income during this pandemic right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you've purged, uh, A is assign a home, so that's deciding where the best place for something is. C is containerized, so that's getting it binned up, and then E is equalized. So that's labeling it and making sure that it's a full circle system that's going to work for you. So for example, you're not, let's say, having your cleaning supplies in the basement in the laundry room where you're going to constantly like be going back and forth and back and forth, but maybe they're under the kitchen sink or in the main bathroom sort of thing. Um, with anybody who is organizing at home without the help of us, um, we always recommend to set time limits. So for each step of it to give yourself, let's say, an hour to do a sort and to go one room at a time. And anytime I have a client that's like, well, how do you do it? Like, I can see everything and I see all the stuff that I need to do. How do I like narrow it down? And I always say like one room, one drawer, one closet at a time. Don't look at it as a big picture. Look at it as like, today I'm going to do my junk drawer or I'm going to go through my fridge and pull out all the expired condiments because everybody has them. <laughs> and like, so to give yourself those like time limits and that'll help as well so that you don't have as many distractions as well. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much for uh, the tidbits, the tips and the tricks. And we're all gonna be very busy at home getting organized. So thank you so much for that. We're all gonna be more organized because of you. So thank you so much. Perfect, thanks Justin. Take care. Bye.